<laughs> Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation, you hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. I, I am Nubicus Maximus. <laughs> I'm Cryptic Enigma. And we are playing West of Loathing. <laughs> I just splatted through the horse poop. Twice. Face first. I think they spelled Sheriff wrong. Yes, they did. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boarding Springs. I'm the sheriff. It's bearing, or boring and not boarding. I said boring, didn't I? No, you said boarding. Okay. The what? He says, the sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. You s say you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Um, sure. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here, what calls themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. <laughs> it ain't out well, it ain't much good without a door. And? And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff after all. Okay. <laughs> Gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Okie dokie. Deputy pistol. Ooh. Funny you should say that because I'm sending you, I'm sending the deputy along with you. You, wow, I can't even say that. D to keep you out of trouble. That's really hard. He takes the pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item. Deputy pistol. Deputy. You deputize the gun. <laughs> now, you're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do in here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang hideout is for you. He makes a little note in the map. You discover a new map location, the Fricker Gang hideout. Got it. I'll be back with the door. Bird Thief. Naked Mike Bernstein. <laughs> uh, apply in person at the Yuma Marshal Office. The Face for Face Thieving. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What's this down here? Dirty Grab mug. It. Grab it. That item. A covered mug. Yep. Cool. What's over here? Trade. Step right up, step right out. Braid's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid? <laughs> what are you trading? Well, Well, madam, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And, and to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Okay, I don't have any of that, but I'd like the pocket watch. I could do some evil things with that. Kit lost. Um, what the? Aww. We're Cactus Man Hybrid. He smiles at you. How do yourself? The name's Bill. Cactus Bill. Haven't you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer, and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me that this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just coincidence. <laughs> Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeping me pretty drunk most of the time. <laughs> I guess it is a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You wouldn't happen to have a newspaper or anything, would you? Yeah, we had that. Let's give him the newspaper. Oh, uh, found the basement saloon. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Oral Home Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find it, find a use for it. I'm gained XP. All right, thank him. And the outhouse at Oral Mill Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it now. If you could, be just kind of stick that newspaper in my face before you leave. That weird. That works. Nope. You're not allowed in Topeka anymore. Remember? It must be where you're from. Oh. Some loose dirt. Ooh, shovel. So what we need the shovel for. All right, well, let's check. We've got this. Recovered mug. 
property of Boring Springs for Saloon, reward if returned. Interesting. So we can do that. We've also got map. the map. Apparently we just click it and we're there. Uh, okie dokie. Thud Fricker and the Fricker Gang intrepid lookout appears to be taking a nap. Uh, let's ignore him or wake him. I don't want to just shoot him for no reason. Let's ignore him, but... Yeah. Oh, he's snoring. Okay. It's a beer barrel cactus. Requires foragin. Foragin. Whatever. It's a pile of random stuff the Flicker Gang stole. Finders keepers. 25 meat, recovered mug. You got an item pair of silver cufflinks. Ooh, silver. I'll go to the items. Is that uh, something we can equip? I don't. No, click on it. Let's oh, see. here. If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. Oh, dang. So, nope. Apparently, we need a fancier shirt to accessorize it. Uh, ooh, it's dark. Another one of the gang is just sleeping. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I noticed the, the bad guys are just sitting there and it kind of scared me. <laughs> Pass the soap. Remember that guy was going to trade soap? He mumbles you hands for a bar of soap before sinking deeper into both sleep and the tub. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, the guy wanted to trade you something for soap. Okay. You cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop in their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely one with his brother won his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Well, I need to get the door, so let's leave without alerting them. No, I have to talk to him for me to get the door. So we'll just get the door. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one without the eye patch raises his eyebrow. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? I uh, oh, love the. It's Vinny. Remember, that's a face stealing guy. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's me, Bimmy, your sister. He squints at you. Bimmy? You ain't Bimmy. Sure I am. Ask me anything. I am too. Back me up here, Snaps. I am so bimmy. I stole some ropes of Rube's face. Haha, uh -huh. you always did have a knack for face wrestling. What's new, Bimmy? We gotta get out of here and fast. The Pinkertons are on to us and they'll be here any minute. Dag damn it, come on, Snap. Let's hot tail it. I'll catch up. Wimpy nods, he and Snippy hurriedly pack up their belongings and flee the cave. You congratulate yourself on your attentiveness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. No, I don't. I congratulate her because I don't remember any of this crap. Uh, <laughs> grit level two. Let's grab the door and skedaddle. Grab it. I'd love to see them carry this out. Uh, Ill-gotten gains. Sweet. Nice. I like caves. I won't be in a cave. Grab it. This guy loses mugs like left and right. That mug. Let's tie him up. Uh, the sheriff can collect him later. Sweet. Sweet. Let sleeping bandits lie. Ah, da, 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 da. I wonder what this is. Oh, can't get it. I'm just going to leave him. Mm hmm. Uh, town of Boring Springs. Well, I guess we talked to the sheriff and the uh, barkeep to get those. Uh, and what was that? The barkeep for the mugs. Uh, broken hitch posts. Oh, okay. Crap. That's what I was talking about. I just saw something there. So let's go over here. For lost mugs, 25 meat each. Nice. Uh, while you're waiting, you see some. Keep waiting. I don't know. Howdy, girl. Howdy, bartender. Name is Bernadette. Share a little back town. Ask about work. Um, take your leave. We're not doing Ask that. Ask about errands. Just want to return the mugs at this point. Uh, I found these mugs. 
I mean, it's, it's lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug. She's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. I ain't recommending you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Take care of the okay, well, apparently I screwed that up. I don't really want to talk to Pete. Well, let's see if we can get the errand from him now. Because that might give us some stuff Just to do. Just thought I'd say howdy. Take your leave. Yeah, it doesn't really give us anything to do. Mm -hmm. So I screwed that up. Sorry. All right, let's go return the door real quick. Uh, okay. I see the Flicker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You're, you're in the sheriff's door and he hangs it back in its engines. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Flicker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll round them up shortly, then looks like I owe you a reward. Produces a bag of meat. I got another little task for you, if you got the time. Should I be a lot simpler than the last one? What you need? T well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took the door. <laughs> need a new lock. Keep an eye out. Uh, so it looks much better with its door back in place. Mostly more silly. Okay. <laughs> All right, so gotta kind of. <laughs> I love that walk. There's a second floor door. <laughs> Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl, who's going to be searching the spittoons for her teeth if she don't leave me alone? Okay, bye-bye then. Uh, I think I might have screwed that up. Yeah. Oh, well. Because that's one of the ways you can get meat and stuff, I'm assuming. Oh, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll able to come back for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's oh. go to the horsery. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each fi for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here are their map locations. I'm pretty much always run away in these same places. Draws three little pictures on your map. You discover a new map location or a whole mine, which we're supposed to look for something there. Boring Springs Boneyard and Thousand Snakes Gulch. I think they like the environments that are thematically appropriate. <laughs> Here, when you find one, Feed it in some oats, and that should send it back here. Bag of oats. Homing oats. They're special pigeon-infused oats. Oh, my. This is the most typical horse you've ever seen. Needle! Ooh. Keep finding needles in haystacks. Hey, you know, if we know lockpicking, I'm sure we'll need them. And we can trade it for something. Mm-hmm. Yipes. Your miles is too far to oh, go on foot. Oh, what do we have new inventory ways other than the needles? Uh, we got the two needles, and on the map we got these different places. Well, so. Warhol Mine was the... Um, Behind the outhouse. Mm -hmm. Got a shovel. shovel. Awesome. Uh, some meat in the car. Dig through. 50 it. meat. 50 Ooh. meat. Here's another mug. This guy's Seven. mugs are everywhere. Oh, hey, you know, it's free money, right? Uh, blasting cap storage, plungers, both kinds, tools. What kind of, how many kinds of plungers? Well, let's go to level one first, maybe? I'll look through here to see if I can find, oh, lovely. Um, blow myself up, unrefined meat nugget. No plungers hooked up to it. Okay, oh, that kind of plunger, though. you know, boom, <laughs> 
I didn't think of it as a plunder. You're silly. Examine the controls. Blasting cam. Okay, well, let's go level one. Oh, that makes me feel confident. Uh, blasting caps. Period is par for labels. It's farther inside his quotes. Blasting cap. Looks like you're going to need a crowbar to pry one of these crates open. Okay, so we don't have a crowbar. So, three. Tools. Tools. Okay, that makes sense. I, I wasn't going to do that. Pick the lock. Got a crowbar! Oh, Woo! I'm All glad right. we got those extra needles. One. Yeah. Ooh, we kind of needed those. Yeah. Got a blasting, blasting cap. cap. So All let's right. see. Level two. Plungers. Because I'm assuming. Yoga. Detonation plunger, as opposed to what other kind? Ready. <laughs> Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation, you hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. Not a fair distance. Not a fair distance at all. You already got a plunger. Press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasting cap. What? Add blasting cap. Okay, you've succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger. <laughs> I love it. Oh, lordy. Kaboom. Woo! Horsey! Uh, dig through it. 50 meat. Aw. Aw. You see the dark horse, barely. Ha uh ha. -huh. Winnie. Aw, it's like Winnie. The horse shies away from you, though in this case it's more like crimplingly introverted away from you. Aww. <laughs> Reassure her. Aw, oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought you some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. Oh, that's a great way to describe it. <laughs> In retrospect, I guess it wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Feed her the oats. Well, let's pat her on the nose. You reach out and pat her nose. The horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Aw, oh, come on, nay. Feed her the oats. You take a handful of oats out of your bag and hold them out for the horse. Here you go, yum yum, snort. She slides away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding her own shadow. Come on, please. Aww. Eat the oats yourself. <laughs> Fine, look, see? You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Or it's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food, don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you're unconsciously turned around and walking out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Pat her on the nose. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. Yeah, good girl, Winnie. Feed her the oats. The horse finally seems relaxed enough to round you, so... You offer her a handful of oats. Warily begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around and look, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Well, okay then. Aww. All right. I wonder if I could get more of these things. Elevators close. Because, okay. you know, it's always good to... Uh, what am I carrying here that's new? Crowbar. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, that's a damage thing. I don't need new. Go to inventory. Inventory. Yeah. Um, the deputy pistol offers four to five. Go to brass knuckles. That's four to five. Check the crowbar. That's five to Provides six. Provides the option to pry things open in crates. So, well, I mean, we're doing okay so far. Well, I do I'm wonder saying, that we're not actually wearing pants. Well, what I'm saying though is you could change it for the brass knuckles to do more damage. Okay, I see what you're saying here. Yeah. I think I'll keep the brass knuckles because I want the crowbar here. Let's go to the bathroom. Definitely. I don't think it doesn't. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. I, I don't think having them as a weapon would prevent you from... I don't know. So crowbar does 5 to 6 damage. Fine. We'll do this. I'm kind of afraid of everything that's here. Wait, what was that? Hmm. Really Grab shiny. It. Shiny rock. Grab a shiny rock. What does it say for the inventory on it? Uh, shiny rock. There it is. Okay. It's shiny. It's shiny and it's about the size of a rock. 
Okay, well, nothing useful. Alrighty. This snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Attack! Attack, it's the only option I have. Yeah. Alright. Oh, what does that meet with the um, up sign? I don't know. Probably your muscle will increase by two. This will not end your turn. So that's it. Oh. Recover 15 health points. Well, if you, it looks like it, it, it. Go ahead and do that because that. Why? Your muscle will increase by two, so your attack is. One more hit's going to kill it. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have to do it then. Ah. Yeah, Moxie. Can we get a hat? You get. You've got Moxie, kid, and this is how much of it. Moxie affects how much damage you do deal when shooting and how much damage you take when getting shot. Okay. okay. That's good. So apparently we didn't get that black hat or whatever that was. Another snake. Well, I guess it's not called one snake gulch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Attack it. Poison damage. Oh, no. All right. Well, let's crack. Okay, good. Okay, come on. Whack the sucker. There we go. Progress towards the next skill, 5 of 10. Yay! All right. Yeah. Wait, what's over here? Mm, nothing. Okay. Snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. I missed what she said. Well, these guys are quick. You don't want to try to feed? <laughs> I was kind of hoping that I could kill it without the meat, but sure. It gave you 10 to 11 damage instead of... But still didn't kill it. 5 to 6. Yeah, but it still didn't kill it. But what I'm saying, though, is it increased your damage from right, right. 5 to 6 to 10 to 11. Right, but at the same time, I'm still going to have to hit it at least twice, so it didn't really... You would... Whatever. I'm... I'm just seeing what this stuff does. The extent of which you are truly gritty. The higher it is, the tougher you'll be. So, okay, well, that's good. Stomach capacity? I like that. <laughs> I Aww. love the eyes. This horse has gone snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Approach him. <laughs> okay. It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. <laughs> let's, let's pat his eyes. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of him. That's a good boy. Arr, look him in the eyes. You calmly hook, look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard tail. The other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little. Now it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Shurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny, or rather a whinny. <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home, not into the twelfth dimension. Uh, Yikes! All right. Hit M. Okay. All right. So let's just go to the Boring Springs Boneyard. Our founder. Okay. Zephaniah. He was actually a really interesting guy. Benjamin Crockett, he showed up way too early. No. <laughs> About 1320. Uh, Beauregard, skeleton, Captain Third Cavalry, dig up the grave. Yeah, crap. All right. Um, shoot. Jeez. All right. Bludgeon him. That's better. Yeah, the crowbar's pretty good as a weapon. Die! I'm just saying that if... Does, did it say that beef up caused any anything? 
get, gain, you gain like one strength for a turn. I'm the RPG, RPG player here, so... I'm not. I just bludgeon crap. Yeah, but I'm just saying bludgeoning will be easier possibly with that. Okay. Your level of get up and get her done, the higher it is, the quicker you are. Okay. I like speed. Alright. What is this guy doing? He's a skeleton. You're not going to get past it without a scuffle. Scuffle it is. We got the jump on. All right, let's just jump. What? <laughs> he headbutted me. He did it. Die again. <laughs> Progress towards a tough customer, level two. Nice. Rough and tumble, rowdy and ready to rumble. Melee attack plus three. Oh. This guy just wouldn't stay put. It's a ghost <laughs> horse. Timothy Cochran, devoted husband. Aw. Oh, Elizabeth family. Cochran, beloved daughter. Silas Cochran. Oh, that's the the one the that's family. Yeah, devoted husband, daughter, a baby. Er, that's so sad. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent pro approach. <laughs> what did you or, say? As you get near the spooky translucent approach. I just screwed up translucent too, so horse. There we go. You approach the weird semi transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her, though you quickly came to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? Nay. This is a little strange. How you did that without opening your mouth. <laughs> Pat her on the nose. Pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold burr. Pat her on the nose again. Pat her on the nose again. Again, 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 again. <laughs> I'm curious how many times you could do this. Apparently a lot. Feed her the oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she still sort of stares right through you. Please don't look at me like that. Snort. Pat her on the nose again. The nose, 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 nose. Try the oats again. You hold out the oats again, but the, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them. But I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Winnie. Is that a yes? Weird? Okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. Sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. You're up. Nee. There you go. And with that, she glides away in the direction of the town. Bizarre. Alright. So, what do we got here that's new? Recovered mugs? Good. Gold twos. We have a gold tooth. We have a gold tooth. Gone for a very long time, and then somebody's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. Okay. All right. Well, I don't think. All right. Well, let's just bounce back to the town. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, talk to the guy. We talked to the guy. And his horse is back. Gained 300 meat. For the one in the mine. But thanks for sending back my... I don't know how you spouted her hiding in the mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating logo weed again, wasn't he? <laughs> Not that I noticed. Well, that's all of them. I can thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Nice. Thanks. Afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? She said something earlier about an injury. Let's talk about the injury. Yeah, I busted my knee while mocking while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how. It's embarrassing. I was going to get Doc Alice to have a look, but she gave up Doctor. And why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself in her office and said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse? Or I'm pretty sure it was just being sarcastic. I see. Okay. Well, we will pick this up next time. Um, if you can think of something, like, I'm curious what this, okay, no, that didn't work. 
I'm curious what the door up on top is for, but if you see something that we didn't, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. So, all right, until next time, thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.